Hey everybody, it's Cyrus C. Tangata. I'm from Santa Ana, California. And uh, my family's from all over. Uh, really are, they are from all over. It's Samoa and American Samoa. Uh, but we're, we're strongly based in Fale Lima, Motofanga, and Sasai. The genre I do, I like to call it feel good hip hop. It's to promote you know, non-violence, promote a lot of love and peace, uh, to push people to through, through their struggles, to, to go over the top of what they do. Um, whether it's in music, life, ed anything in general, education, you know, I'm, I'm here to help you do that. Uh, my struggles in life, it was always that I was bullied, I was picked on because I, I didn't have both parents. You know, uh, kids used to make fun of me because my grandparents would pick me up. You know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Honestly, it was, it made me feel like a little embarrassed that, you know, I had my grandparents picking me up rather than you know, my two real parents. Another thing, you know, kids used to make fun of me because I wasn't full-blooded poly. You know, uh, it's, it, it was hard getting through, but you know, eventually I did. As in music-wise, you know, I, I didn't have a lot of support behind me. It was, uh, I would tell people that I was making music and, you know, nobody had any faith in me. Uh, local rappers, would, they would put me down. They, they, would, they would do other things rather than work with me. We could just say music overall influences me. Uh, reggae, rap, R&B, rock, whatever it is. I mean, I listen to Barris Hammond and then The Strokes, Inspector Deck and then Lucky Dubé, uh, Anthony Hamilton, Biggie, The Killers, Lauren Hill, you can name it. Uh, I like to shout out the youth in American Samoa and say just stay positive and no matter what it is you're pursuing. Uh, just remember that it's not just you in the struggle. It really isn't. We're all in this together. Uh, my main motivation is my family. We got bills to pay. We got to put food on the table. We got to keep a roof over our head. You know, I know it's hard, but you know, we do. I really do it for the generation that I'll never get to see. You know, after me, my family continues. You know, I, I just I want to put that stamp where stories will be told about me, about how 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 I put my family up there. You know, I just want to make my family proud. Thank you. I'd like to shout out the Roadblock Project, you know, for giving me this opportunity to even speak to them. You know, this interview, you know, I really appreciate it. It, it helps us a lot. And, uh, I just want to say thank you. It's like they feeling my punch lines, they dazed and confused. If the devil don't, then most high don't play by the rules. If you don't take them with you, most people hating on you. And if you promise to come back, they'll all be waiting on you. They be dying for the handout, cause I'm walking like the man now. My dreams of what was mapped out came together like it's planned out. But damn, I didn't mean for when I popped up on the scene, I would encourage a bunch of nobodies rooting for the team. So bandwagon, hop on in. Me, myself, a couple friends. I know I ain't buzzing, keep it coming, cause it does. Take your city from a bunny of skin. Even when you were runner up, you weren't running it.